everyone, it is 12.23 in the morning and do you know where your strengths are at? That's kind of a funny question, but it's I'm asking it because I want to talk about this book, Living Your Strengths. Um, and uh, no, this is not, this is not beer. This is fermented tea. It's kombucha. Um, I've heard that it's good for you and I like it. No one else that I know actually likes it. I'm not endorsing it because... Well, I've heard that it's good for you. I don't think there have been that many studies done on it. So if anything turns out to be bad, I don't want to share the negativity, but I like it. I've heard that it's good for you though. And yeah, so basically I'm talking about this book because I went out, I went on a retreat um, that kind of focused on this and we all got the book and with it came a co with a code um came with a code so we could go online and go on this website and type in our code and take the test so we would know what our strengths were it's called living your strengths um and it was created by donald clifton and the book was written by two other people but i think that he's the main doctor who um i think he's a doctor of psychology who came up with the assessment and yeah, I don't know. I, I was trying to find statistics and um, validity, reliability stuff, but I didn't find any. This, this video is not really just focused on this, but the premise of this book is that you should focus on your strengths and really appreciate your strengths. And I guess that's what I want to talk about. Um, are you appreciating your strengths today? Going back to what I first said, um, do you know what they are? I think that a lot of us, just growing up, we tend to compare ourselves to other people to other people in our family, to our friends, and sometimes we might feel invaluable or like we have nothing to offer, where we all offer different things and it's precisely because we offer different things that we can all work so well together. And I think those of you who liked my Myers-Briggs video will probably like this video because I think it's really important, it's kind of a similar premise, um, just like, do you, do you value what you're good at and are you focusing on that? Um, this book really kind of tells you to not, to just like ignore your weaknesses kind of almost and to just focus on your strengths. I'm a fan of working on weaknesses and limitations and kind of trying to develop them, but I do definitely agree that focusing on your strengths is important and that's something that a lot of us don't do because we're so wrapped up in just kind of being really, really harsh on ourselves. It's funny when, like on the retreat, um, a lot of us were kind of, we wanted to trade our strengths, like kind of like playing cards, like, oh, I like yours. Hey, let's swap them. Like, it was kind of funny because obviously you can't, you can't trade strengths or kind of, kind of come with them, kind of attach to them. You can develop them. You can um, make a strength which is potential into something great and something that you're really good at. And just because you have a strength doesn't mean that you um, are completely knowledgeable or have um, completely developed the ability to use that strength. It just means that it's there. I feel like sometimes we get put on paths that other people expect us to go on or that we feel like we should go on where our strengths lie in something else. And in the same way, sometimes we put other people down because they're not good at the same things that we're good at. The people who have different strengths might be exactly the people that we need. I think that this is kind of a tendency of really efficient people who are really on the go and kind of who might just kind of look at other people and be like, oh, you're not efficient and kind of push people aside where they're really l losing the efficiency of the whole group by ignoring certain people. So I wanna, I guess this video is kind of a reminder, like this book was a reminder for me to focus, focus on your strengths, find out what you're good at, and maybe, like, if you're a part of a team of people, kind of use what you're good at. Um, if you are trying to decide on a career, use what you're good at. Think about what, what you're really good at, and don't berate yourself on things that you feel like you're not. Um, I guess Katy Perry kind of put it, be a firework. Um, don't, don't, don't feel like a plastic, oh, wait, the plastic bag was good. I forget, in the song Firework, Katy Perry's Firework song, um, kind of, yeah, think of yourself as a firework, so much potential and so much to do, and um, we all, like, we're all good at different things, so I guess appreciate your strengths, appreciate other people's strengths, that's my hope, and um, yeah, the one thing that I didn't really like about this 
this book, well, one thing that I couldn't find the statistics on it, that I don't really know how valid and reliable it is, but what I didn't like was that um, it only gives you five strengths. It, it has a certain amount, like 30-something strengths, and it, it um, lists them all in order of strengths, so you're going to get Ideally, you would get a list of all of them and be able to see which ones are at the bottom and which ones are on top. But this, as the way it is now, it only allows you to see your top five. And I will put the link to this website. Um, there are different versions of the book, different types of tests that you can take. You do have to buy the book in order to take the test because the book is kind of like, it's not it's not a book that you really read from front to back. It um, has lists of all the different strengths. And then you can look up your top five, which in reality, all of them apply to everyone because they're all, everyone's rated on the basis of all of them, supposedly. Like, we all will rate somewhere on each of them, so they're all going to be listed for each of us. But it only gives us our top five, so we can only look up our top five. It was interesting for me to have this book because we I did it with a group of people, so I got to look up other people's strengths as well. And we kind of guessed some people's strengths, which is kind of fun. And without further ado... I will read you my strengths. Um, first one that I got was connectedness, which means that I kind of see the whole picture. I kind of see the whole picture. Things happen for a reason. You're sure of it. Um, you feel like you're part of something larger. Some people might call it the collective unconscious. I, get, I think that's from Jung. Um, others might label it spirit or life force. If we're all part of the bigger picture, we must not harm each other because we're harming ourselves and I definitely believe that so yeah connectedness um adaptability it's this one was the main one that I was surprised at I was like I don't know I think I am adaptable but if I really I usually go with the flow but if there's something that I'm really focused on um then I I can be sad if that doesn't work out because I don't always decide upon things but when I do I kind of want it to work out so I guess, I guess that's why I was surprised, but I, th I think that for the most part I'm adaptable and I go with the flow and I try to kind of improvise and do what's best at the moment. Um, I think I'm pretty good with crisis situations and just kind of being there when it's necessary, I guess. Um, includer, says I'm includer. Yes, this is totally true. I was the only person who got this, which kind of surprised me. But yeah, I like to include people. I don't like feeling like anyone's left out. Um, I want to know that everyone's kind of feeling included and happy. And, um, yeah. Ideation. Okay, this, this is, comes to no surprise to you guys who don't know about the Myers-Briggs. Because I got INFP, which is the idealist. So it's just since I like ideas for the sake of ideas. I just like ideas. Um, yeah. And then the next one was intellection, which says I like to think. It says it's like, it doesn't tell you what you think about. So if you, whatever your strengths were, um, you'd probably think a lot about achieving those goals and um, kind of in that direction so I guess I think a lot about connectedness and including people I don't know that's why I feel like it makes me sound like a care bear or a hippie or a drug like ooh, let's all like get along and connect and I don't know I guess that's good so on that note since I'm a care bear um I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and I hope that you appreciate your strengths appreciate the strengths of others and don't get down on yourself so yeah, um, and I guess that's it. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. And yeah, more videos to come. Okay, bye.